Like hopping the front wheel, hopping the rear can be difficult to learn. While not needed in the lower grades, it becomes essential as you move to higher grades. It's common for riders to try to learn this one too early, as it looks pretty cool, but it's best to first master balancing on your stationary bike for extended periods. Start learning to hop the rear wheel on a smooth area with the bike facing down the slope. When first learning, ride down the hill slowly, then jump on the pegs to compress the suspension, apply the front brake, straighten your legs and push your body weight forward. To make it even easier, you can use a small obstacle like a rock or log to make rear wheel hopping almost effortless. The key to hopping the rear wheel is balance, compressing your suspension, using your body weight and good timing. Once you get the timing right, it's surprising how little effort it takes. Riders often also use a small blip of the throttle and clutch to make it easy to pop the front wheel up. Remember to apply the rear brake when the front wheel lands. You'll lose points in competition if the bike rolls backwards. Let's take it in steps. First, compress the front suspension by bending the legs and in effect jumping on the foot pegs. As the suspension rebounds, straighten your legs and move your body weight forward. Turn the handlebars in the direction you want to hop the rear wheel and also lean your body weight in that direction as you straighten your legs. At first, you'll probably find yourself losing balance when the rear wheel lands, but don't worry about this. The balance will come with practice. When learning, it's best to move in a series of small hops, but as you become more skilled, you'll find it quite easy to hop the rear wheel through 90 degrees or more. Ready to challenge yourself? Try hopping the rear wheel with the engine off, as this makes it harder to balance. Try hopping through a complete circle. And remember, you'll probably have a favorite direction, so practice in both directions. Once you've mastered the rear wheel hop on smooth ground, try it in rough terrain, or even harder, facing uphill.